Welcome back. Welcome back. We're here until midnight. Some great sport coming up as well. We're off to White Hart Lane next, Tottenham and Notts County. But uh, Andy Gray back in the studio to enjoy this. Interesting semi-final draw. Yeah, I think basically the whole country will be happy. If there's anyone disappointed, I think it'll be Spurs and Arsenal that mm. they haven't managed to stay apart in the semi-finals, Richard. I think they actually thought there was a North London derby on the cards. Right. Well, we'll give you all the details in a moment or so, but it's to White Hart Lane, Spurs and Notts County. Let's check the teams out. Tottenham with Gaza in their lineup. A lot of speculation this weekend about whether he would play. Uh, Paul Stewart wearing seven, played up front, and Paul Walsh named amongst the substitutes. Notts County, you recall Gary Lunt scoring the winner against Manchester City in the last round. A Reardon wearing six and playing as a sweeper in that formation. Commentator at White Hart Lane, Peter Brackley. It really is a cracking atmosphere for this FA Cup quarter-final. Tottenham so desperate to keep their season alive and help ease their crippling financial situation. And Notts County in the all-blue strip today, make no mistake, they come here confident of succeeding where Blackpool, Oxford and Portsmouth have all failed in previous rounds. This, remember, the first time that Tottenham then have uh, had a quarter-final since 1987 when they went on to the final before losing to Coventry. Now, striding away, Paul Allen. Lineker. Stewart. And there's the first confrontation between Paul Harding and Paul Gascoigne. Harding, the man who's been detailed to shadow Gascoigne throughout this match. Free kick to Tottenham. Definitely atmosphere around the stadium. Gascoigne, of course, supervising the free kick. So important to Tottenham. They've had to nurse him through matches recently. He has this serious hernia problem. But he had no intention of missing this one. And the flick on safely through to goalkeeper Steve Cherry, the hero, of course, against Manchester City in the last round. transformation it has been at Notts County over the past two seasons on the verge of going down to the fourth division and now here they are under Neil Warnock at an FA Cup quarter-final and challenging as well for a place in the first division and that was very late then from Draper from Vanden Howe and that will certainly earn him a rebuke from the referee Ferks in the action it will be Gary Mabbott to take the free kick for Tottenham bit of a tangle at the back the Reardon involved and they've scrambled it away Harding to short Notts County have a very direct positive style and they rely a lot on the pace up front of Bartlett good interception though then by Mabbott Turner's pass Bartlett was lurking they really do have to watch Tottenham, this man's extraordinary burst of speed. Lineker. Notts County setting out their stall in the early stages. They're going to fight for every ball. Van den Howe to take the free kick. Looking for Stewart. Gascoigne, who was up there too. Lund. Naeem. Allen battling back. Now, Dean Thomas. Preferred then to Paris in the lineup. Oh, and he struck the post. Well, that was an incredible shot then from Dean Thomas. That almost caught, well, indeed, it did catch. Torsford unawares and it just brushed off the post and Torsford didn't get a hand to it just bounced over him 
So a real let off then for Tottenham. Five minutes gone. And what a lift that will be to the second division side. Thomas. Notts County throw. Wins over Hull, Oldham, and then Manchester City to reach this stage. Gascoigne's tackle on Draper. Here's Draper again now. Very promising young player. Gascoigne. Now Lund through to Bartlett. And he almost got away then from Torsford. Oh, what a start here by Notts County. They really are taking the game to Tottenham. And that's twice there in the space of a couple of minutes that the Tottenham goal has been seriously threatened. Dean Thomas with the header. Allen for Tottenham. Now, Allen. What a fine run. Tremendous effort then by Paul Allen. The man who, of course, who back in 1980 was the youngest man ever to appear in an FA Cup final. And if that's any guideline, he's determined to reach Wembley again. Taking defenders on. And that's the kind of spirit, the kind of enthusiasm that Paul Allen has been showing all season for Tottenham. He's been a major success for them. Off goes Gascoigne, great skill. Lineker. Now Mitchell Thomas. Lineker. Yates in the way. Lineker! Mistake by Yates was almost so costly. Allen with the cross. And Cherry able to fist it away. Now Gascoigne. The danger hasn't passed yet. Vanden Hau, elegantly found then by Gascoigne. Too long for Lineker, here's Naeem. Now that's out of play. Goal kick to Notts County, but it could have been far more serious. Lineker, who missed a couple of excellent chances in the last round against Portsmouth, and, well, he'll be very disappointed then that he didn't beat Steve Cherry. All credit though to the goalkeeper. But Lineker will put that one down as an opportunity squandered. Stewart's header. Vanden Hau. Here's Lineker. Plenty of movement about Tottenham here. Now Gascoigne. His legs were whipped away from him by Harding. Gascoigne steps in and says he's my mate. And I think uh, Paul Gascoigne might have saved Paul Harding from further words then from the referee. Notts County have everybody back defending. It's Gascoigne. Just over 15 minutes gone, still no score. But opportunities at both ends. Naeem, here's Stewart. So hard to dispossess, Paul Stewart. Very, very strong. Gascoigne. And time for O'Reardon. Calls himself an Irish sweeper, O'Reardon and plays in front of the back four. Naeem finding Stewart. Off 
Goes Lineker. Short as ever is with him. Now Van den Hau. Gascoigne's made a run to the far post. This is Thomas. Gascoigne. Naeem. Feels for handball. Only from the crowd, though. Gascoigne. Here's Van den Hau. Well, it was promising up till then. Certainly the build-up was good enough, but Van den Hau with a very poor finish. Charlie Palmer needing some attention here. Terry Venables looking on anxiously. Wondering if his team can find this goal to break down Notts County, who looked vulnerable once or twice at the back, but generally have had their fair share of this opening half. satisfied I would think at this stage Van den Hau foul then by short on Lineker certainly was a crunching collision Craig Short making a good job so far of policing the England captain Gary Lineker. Harding pursued by Van den Hal, who dribbled first with his hand and his foot. Cherry with the free kick. Cherry complaining Gascoigne isn't uh, a requisite distance away. It's Lund. Stole away from his marker then. And the man who scored the winner against Manchester City wasn't too far away again. He's lost his regular place in the side to David Regis. And when he comes in, he shows his proven qualities as a striker. Again wins it in the air. And it was O'Reilly who had the composure to head it back. Turner on. This is Sedgley. Offside. Gascoigne appeals to the lines, but in vain. Just over five minutes of the first half to go. Stewart with a backward header that went askew. Palmer in. Tosford. And it was foul there. Towering over Turner. And it's a free kick to Tottenham. Such a game competitive player, Phil Turner. But no question there. An infringement. As Palmer heads it back across. You'll see Turner go in, and there's an elbow out there. Draper. Turner to Lund. It's a useful combination here. No free kick, goal kick to Tottenham. 6,000 Tottenham fans, uh, not County fans rather, shake their fists in disbelief behind the goal. They're certainly making themselves heard, those county supporters. Great putt. 
Caught though by Naeem. Turner on. Now Bartlett. Here's a chance, surely. Sedgley's tackle. And it was a perfectly legal one. Notts County are fooling for the corner. And referee Folk says yes. But no question of a penalty. So another examination here of the Tottenham defence. Turner going across to take the corner. Short has come back. Come up, so has Yates. Bartlett in there too. Gascoigne. Put a four for a rear done. Oh! It's a magnificent goal. And the 33-year-old has scored for Notts County. Four minutes to half time. Well, who would have thought it? Tremendous drive beyond Torsford. And he wants some, some attention before he goes on. I think he's hit the dizzy heights and can't believe it. Well, what a story. Donna Reardon, who thought his playing days were behind him. He's the reserve team coach. And really, he only intended to play in emergencies this season. And he's got a head wound. And they're bandaging him up. And I think Terry Venables wishes they'd take him off. A worried look on the face of Terry Venables. Thomas beaten in the air though by Harding. Turner flags up. Sedgley with the free kick. The first half almost over now. Mabbott trying to find Lineker. Here's Allen. Waiting in the middle, Alan decided to go it alone. And there is the whistle to end the first half. And if Tottenham didn't realise they had a real scrap on today, well, they most certainly do now. It's fairy tale stuff. Notts County leading by a goal to nil. And the goal scored just a couple of minutes before half time by Dono Reardon, the veteran in the Notts County side and now playing with a bandage on his head after receiving a cut. Gascoigne has probed away constantly, but nothing for Tottenham so far. Notts County lead, 1-0 at half. So away we go then. Tottenham starting the second half, now attacking the goal to our left. No doubt with words of wisdom from Terry Venables ringing in their ears. And then they will have to step up their performance in the second half. Prefer to deny Dono Reardon and his teammates their first FA Cup semi-final since 1922. And I'm sure we're dreaming about the headlines already. And Philip, his goal has given his team just before half-time, only his second of the season. And what a sweet strike it was. Now Lineker, beaten though by Short. A good first half, Short against England's deadliest striker Allen Gascoigne Couldn't shake off Harding now Draper on from Lund here's Dink Thomas Draper he's posed a lot of problems for Tottenham 
always willing to take defenders on. And it was Charlie Palmer right up front then for Notts County. Stewart. Away from O'Riordan. Lineker sprinted into the middle. Here's Lineker. And Naeem. Well, how did they survive then? Cherry had his moments of luck against Manchester City. And how did he keep that one out? Stewart with the cross. Lineker has time to slant his header down. Straight at short initially. Naeem shot then blocked. And it was Palmer who was back there. Essentially, Naeem. The old Spaniard who's made all the strides at the top side this season. It's Stewart now. Excellent ball to Lineker. Looking up then for support. Here's Stewart. Trying to plough his way through. And Dean Yates, steady as a rock. Forced to concede the corner. He won't mind that. With Tony Stewart in such a threatening position. Naeem. Deflection, and it's gone in off short. He holds his head in disbelief, and Naeem shot. Deflected in by Craig Short, it's 1-1. Tottenham are level again. Seven minutes into the second half. Despair for Craig Short. Just squirmed away from him, in off the post. Well, if luck went not, not count his way in the last round, and on one or two occasions today, it was certainly against them there. No emotion on the face of Terry Venables. He'll just be relieved that his team are back in this cup tie. Well, Naeem will want to claim it, but I reckon that has to go down as an own goal. It certainly changed direction in the shot. It beat Steve Cherry, and Neil Warnock now knows his team are likely to face an onslaught from Tottenham. And from Turner. And Abbott shielding it back to Torsford. Off goes Van den Howe now, striding purposefully forward. Stewart. Lots County throw. And they'll need just to calm it down. I noticed Don O'Reard and the goal scorer just signalling to his teammates, just calm down, we haven't lost it. We've conceded a rather fortunate goal, that's all. And he was just saying, relax, we've done well, and we can still win it. Bartlett, the cup tie really has come alive now. Here's Gascoigne. Wrestling with Harding. All he wants to do is get on with it and take the free kick. Naive. Now, Edinburgh. Lineker wants it in the middle. Not that way, though. And Justin Edinburgh. Tony Venables, last recruit, signing from South End. And forced his way into the first team reckoning this season. Again, out of your picture, Gascoigne and Harding are hacking away at each other. Gascoigne just backheeled Harding. Referee didn't see it. Now Gascoigne's bumped into him again. I think somebody's just brought this to the attention of the referee who's having to watch the game with one eye and Gascoigne and Harding with the other. They're having a private contest out there. Here's Harding now. Harding was saying beforehand he has the utmost respect for Gascoigne and his ability. There will be no sympathy for me out there once we get started, he said. And he's been true to his word. Brandon Howe's header. Harding clambering all over Paul Allen. Paul Harding. Barnet player at the start of the season. And 
of who was dreaming about playing in an FA Cup quarter-final then and marking Paul Gascoigne. Johnson, their leading goal scorer last season. Just as I speak, uh, he and Alan Paris, the other substitute, are now going through their paces. In the meantime, Gascoigne has now elbowed Harding in the face. Well, Harding was yanking at Gascoigne all the way. And, well, something had to go there. And no doubt at all that uh, Harding is goading Gascoigne wanting him to overreact, and the elbow flew out then. Let's look again here. Look at Harding, look, he's sticking to him, he's holding his chest, grabbing his legs. And in the end, well, Gascoigne, of course, was wrong, but uh, you can understand his frustration. And he's saying there, Gascoigne, look, he's been trying to tug the shirt off me. If he really wants it, I'll sign it for him and give it to him afterwards. I think Gary Lineker there, just saying, OK, Gazza, we all know it's going on, but just calm down. There is the elbow in the face. Paul Harding. Will now be spoken to by the referee, so will Gascoigne. And, well, that's a sporting gesture, at least. And let's hope now they can both concentrate on the task of helping their team reach the semi-finals of the FA Cup and not stage a private war out there. <laughs> They've got a black eye now. And quite rightly, it's a free kick to Tottenham after all that. Gascoigne sweeping it into the path of Stewart. Not though the deftest of touches from Paul Stewart. And now Tottenham want to bring on both their substitutes, Samways and Paul Walsh, Mitchell Thomas and Naeem going off. Paul Walsh, a very popular figure, and he's come on to good effect as a substitute in the past. Three of his six goals this season have been when he's come on as a sub. And I think he's going to play up front, and Paul Stewart will switch to midfield, and Samways will take over from Naeem, also in midfield. Let's see what the injection of fresh blood could do for Tottenham. A ridden. Twenty minutes of the second half gone. One-one. A cup tie that really could swing either way. Draper on for Bartlett. Essentially for the corner. Yates and Short both making their way towards the penalty area. Walnuts County, Short in particular, wanting to atone for his effort earlier on in steering that own goal in. And that I think was already over the line. Goal kick. Gascoigne with Harding, of course. Lung. Now Draper. Oh, he does possess a lot of skill, this fellow. Trying to find Bartlett then. Shot away like an arrow into the penalty earlier. Toss, but equal to it. Paul Allen now then for Tottenham. Walsh up front with Lineker. Draper to Thomas. Bartlett is onside this time. And that was an excellent tackle then. And a vital one two for Sedgley. Bartlett was almost in the clear then. Edinburgh. Here's Samways. Lineker. Now Van den Howe. Oh, and again, though, by Thomas. Edinburgh, Lineker, Walsh. A 
between them, Yates and Lund. Well, the danger. Mabbott, such an inspiration for Tottenham during the season. The season which started so brightly for them. 13th match unbeaten run, only lost to Liverpool and never really recovered from there. Out of the running now for the championship. And hoping, of course, to win the FA Cup. And that clearly is the same idea that Notts County have. Down and beaten by Allen. Harding. Gascoigne. Here's Palmer. And he's got then by Stewart. Essentially, here's Lund. Going back there initially by Sam Ray's gas going now to Van den Howe. Lineker. Always has that ability just to create some space for himself. Now, Stewart. Here's a chance. Saved by Cherry. Great save. Well, but he can't use his arms, he'll use his legs. Cherry spread himself well then to defy Paul Stewart. Yates. Now some time for Edinburgh. Go forward, at Torsford. I don't want it. Sam Waits. Now Stewart. This is Pat Vandenhau. Walsh had made the run down the middle. Short almost gave it to him. But here, once more, that opportunity then for Paul Stewart. Dragging it onto his left foot. And Cherry again in the right place. Stewart hoping to take advantage of the quickly taken free kick. The red and though was in the way. What a steady figure he's been throughout this match. Conor Reardon. And of course, scorer of that superb goal. Samways now though. The county might be stretched here. Allen. Lineker in the middle and hoping. Walsh up with him too, but Palmer was able to clear the final pass, letting Paul Allen down. Allen now, away from Thomas. Here's Walsh! Lineker couldn't get a touch. Safely in the arms of Steve Cherry. Good work by Paul Allen, and then Walsh with a shot straight at the goalkeeper. Edinburgh. Farmer had the strength to hold off. Paul Stewart, who's a pretty aggressive player himself. Disappointment. Lineker weighing up his options there, and he didn't really get hold of the shot. Yates, Walsh, is it handled? Samways, this is gone. This is gone. The Tottenham players, well, they're claiming they haven't heard it. I'm sure they must have done. And the referee absolutely adamant that the ball was handled. Walsh going across to complain. Well, it is such a cauldron of noise here. 
but maybe they didn't hear the whistle. Walsh brushed his arm, on goes Samways. Good tidy finish, but the whistle had gone some seconds earlier. And there it strikes the arm, no question of Paul Walsh. shakes his head and they certainly haven't found it easy to uh, unlock this Notts County defence, the two markers and O'Riordan as the sweeper and here's O'Riordan now to take the free kick and look for the height of Dean Yates and short here's Yates easy catch for Torsford and you're six foot three Vinica and score in. And off goes Allen. Now, did he pick out Vinica here or go himself? Walsh is in there too. Bundle over and it's a corner. Walsh going in bravely. And it was Cherry to the rescue again. Tottenham voices raised around the ground. Can they find a winner? Samways with the corner. Mabbott's come up. Beaten though by Yates in the air. Edinburgh. Yates away again. Mabbott, Sedgley. Gascoigne! That's it! The gamble has paid off for Gascoigne. Brings a smile at last to the face of Terry Venables. Would he play today? Well, we were all wondering beforehand. And Gascoigne once again has risen to the occasion. And look here at how brilliantly he steered that one into the corner. You cannot legislate for sheer class. Fantastic goal by Gascoigne. Seven minutes to go, and he's done it again. And Tom Johnson will now be thrown on. The last shuffle of the cards, really, from Neil Warner. The man whose goals played such a part in Notts County, reaching the second division via the playoffs. And he's about to make his entrance. But here's Samways now for Tottenham. Oh, just beyond Cherry. Walsh and Allen in there hoping for a charge. So Tom Johnson coming on to replace Don O'Riordan. And my word, he has played his part. O'Riordan. Johnson on then. Lost his place earlier in the season. And he himself admits he deserved to be left out. And he hasn't got too much time to make an impact here. But a proven goal scorer, and that's what Notts County need now. But here's Gascoigne. All the audacity is coming out now, all the arrogance and all the skill. And the crowd really warming to Tottenham. And over where Gascoigne's taking the throw, they all stood up then to, to clap and, a, and cheer him on. Such a favourite here. Draw now around White Hart Lake. Gascoigne. Two goals in the last two rounds against Portsmouth and Oxford. One more today. How do you contain it? Samways in no hurry at all to take the corner the referee will have different ideas and a parting for the throw 
A minute's ticking away, just two left now. Is Gascoigne's goal going to be enough to take Tottenham through? Walsh, great turn. Palmer cleared, Turner. That was a bad tackle then by Satways. Unnecessary too. It left Harding on the floor. And I think uh, Vinnie Satways was rather fortunate there not to get away. Or rather to get away without getting a booking. Don O'Reardon, who thought his goal might just be steering his team on to a semi-final place. Still with that uh, wound, it would appear on his head, although he hasn't worn a, a headband for the second half. Yates with the free kick, Short's up there. That it was uh, Thomas with a free kick and Yates who was up there challenging. Bartlett. Well, they left it very, very late, of course, against Manchester City in the last round before scoring Notts County. A goal right at the end from Gary Lund. And the Tottenham players will be remembering that now as they defend in the last few seconds of this game. Notts County throw. Shorts come up. Yates is in there. Farmer will look to hurl one in towards Short. Lund! <laughs> well, the memory's flooded back then. And it's all over. Tottenham are through to the semi finals thanks to Paul Gascoigne. And just look at the joy there on the face of his captain, Gary Mabbott. And in contrast, what despair for Notts County, who come here and played so courageously, led with the goal from Don O'Riordan before half-time, but then the own goal from Craig Short, and Paul Gascoigne's winner have turned the tie in Tottenham's favour. Well, Gascoigne now, we believe, is ready to undergo this operation he needs for a double hernia. It may well rule him out, for some time to come but what a contribution he has made today the final score at White Hart Lane Tottenham 2 Notts County 1 what, what did Terry Venables have to say at half time you just conceded a cracking goal let's be said uh, from Don O'Riordan well that's right a tremendous goal and I think it was completely unstoppable but uh, I can't really say what the manager said at half time not on television anyway but uh, needless to say he wasn't very happy and you know he really uh, had a bit of a go at us, and you know, rightly so, because, you know, as I said before, I don't think our determination was right in the first half. And then we came out second half knowing that we could play a heck of a lot better, and uh, yeah, thankfully we showed that. Well, I know you and others have tried to play down that it's a one-man show, but it's Paul Gascoigne again who, who's won it for you. It does underline just how significant he is to you. He's very important to you. I mean, obviously, I think since the, since the World Cup, Paul's grown in stature, and uh, you're always going to miss a player of his ability if he's not within your side. But uh, I thought, you know, he's got his problem with his injuries, but today I thought uh, he worked very, very hard, and I think he showed his importance with the winning goal. So, Spurs joining Arsenal and Nottingham Forest in the semi-finals. We'll show you the draw very shortly, but uh, Andy, three goals for us to look at. I think Terry, will, Terry Venables will be breathing a huge sigh of relief tonight, Richard, after that result. I think that uh, Notts County started in a good first half and capped it with this, well, what can you say about it? I think Don O'Riordan has probably never hit one, but it's, look, Paul Gascon again, trying to play the ball out. I think he probably wishes he just scalped that out somewhere, but... They don't come much better than that, do they? Oh. That's quite a wonderful strike. I don't think he can quite believe it. And he's probably 15 years in his career, I bet he's never hit one like that before. But it was no more than Notch County had deserved at that particular time because they had played well. Now, this was the incident when Paul Gascoigne tangled, <laughs> shall we say, at well, that stage. I was a bit of a hothead, as you know, Richard, in, in my career. And I think if I had reacted like that, I think I would have expected to walk. I must admit, I was 
quite amazed that uh, the Harding referee... Was, just to interrupt, Andy, Harding's yes. the fullback. Now look at the bruise under his eye. Yeah. I mean, there is a rule that if, you're, if you get caught for violent conduct, and I think that can only be violent conduct. And this is where luck just runs out for them. Naeem's shot is going nowhere but wide of goal. That just catches short on the back of the heel, and I think it looks like then they used up all their luck. But it was poor defending initially, but you just see there, the luck runs out, and, and they're 1-1. And I think from that point, I think we all felt that Tottenham, if anyone was going to win, it would be Tottenham. And how do you keep this man out of the headlines? You see, he's just hovering about there. But it's a good little patient move. Good build-up, couple of one-twos, and the ball comes to Gascoigne. I tell you, I think we all knew where this was going. It's a great finish. A great finish. Can't take that away from him. No. A, a terrific finish, and he's risen to the occasion again for Tottenham. Yeah. But w we have rather brushed over the incident. Uh, he claimed after the match that his uh, clash with Harding was accidental. Did it look that way to you? <laughs> no. Um, it looks like he's been tugged, and his reaction's been that. Now, I think he's very fortunate, very fortunate to have stayed on. Mm. That's violent conduct. Nine times out of ten, a player would walk for that. Yeah, I mean, when you think of only a, a couple of months ago, he was sent, out, sent off at that same ground for foul language, and he's been let off with something as serious as that, he'll be rather lucky. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief, Paul, and I think that's why he admitted after the game he was sorry it had happened. He was quick to defuse it, and quite rightly so. Some doubt about whether he would play or finish yeah. the match. Terry Venables has been bold, putting on two substitutes and leaving him on the park. Yeah, I think he took the decision that he was going to stay on it regardless even if it was just to get a little bit of push him up front and just hope to get a bit of magic on him. But the two substitutes were vitally important and they played a huge part in Tottenham winning.